everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at G.I. Joe's Shoreline Defender from 1990, codename Rampart. Not to be confused with the Coastal Defender, which was kind of a trailer thing. I guess you could have the Shoreline Defender in the Coastal Defender, but I digress. This is Rampart. This is a figure from the 90s, and when I look at 90s figures, this is what I like to see. In the 90s, it wasn't all neon. Look at these colors. Look at these details. This would be a great figure in any era. I have to make sure you can see this. Just look at these details. Uh, this is incredible, and the colors, uh, they didn't go with any crazy colors at all. Everything is nice and subdued. Uh, you could imagine this guy is defending a shoreline. And in addition to an impressive figure, we have some impressive accessories. We have a big machine gun here with a quadrupod. That's actually two pieces there. Uh, it's uh, much different from the bipods we got uh, in G.I. Joe in the 80s. This thing is beefy uh, and much less likely to get lost. He also has a missile launcher, and this is the only thing that is a little out of place. It's a much lighter color than the figure or the other accessories. It has a strap, and this is also quite substantial. That's also a separate piece. Uh, this is a Flick missile launcher. It comes with a couple black missiles, uh, and you just drop those in. Uh, they kind of stick out the back here, and you can launch the missiles by flicking them. This was the era before the spring-loaded weapons, and so I guess this is fine. Uh, it's nice to have individual missiles for a missile launcher. We didn't usually get that in the 80s. Getting back to the figure, the figure has two different ways that accessories peg on the figure. Um, he has a peg on his leg uh, for an extra black missile for his missile launcher. Fir uh, pegs in pretty firmly, uh, but you can pull it out. Uh, and that does stay on there pretty well, so it's not very likely to fall off. In addition to that, uh, over on his other side, on his hip, he has a peg, uh, and the machine gun actually hooks on that peg uh, so he can hold it a little bit better. Uh, I have him holding the machine gun by this uh, top peg here, but it's got a handle. Uh, he might be able to hold on to that too, but that looks a little thick, and I'm not sure his hand would fit very well. It's a great figure. The figure looks great. It has great accessories. The accessories make sense for his specialty, and he can carry them all at the same time time. Uh, to me, that's all wins. This figure is not quite ready to review yet. I do not have his file card, uh, but when I get back to looking at 90s figures, I can't wait to look at this guy. This guy here is proof that the 90s were not all bad. Uh, this guy is a masterpiece. Uh, I love this figure. I look forward to doing a full review on it in the future. In the meantime, please check back on this channel for full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews in the future, and subscribe so you don't miss any. I hope to see you soon. Thank you.